I'm going to talk about, uh, my name is Shole Zamini. I am from a representative of Verein Sudwind Entwicklungspolitik. We are here since the 14th session of Human Rights Council and try to bring uh, different aspects of human rights violations in Iran. Uh, I have worked especially on the situation of women in Iran and um, uh, we can name many women and mothers from Baha'i faith who are uh, already in, right now in um, prison because of uh, their beliefs only. Uh, the same goes to uh, um, uh, women who has um, converted to Christianity, for example. I think that you are going to speak about that issue, so I won't talk about it. Um, but uh, still uh, being a, a man in prison is totally different than being a woman in prison when you have children, especially small children that are uh, outside and growing up without you as a mother and um, the mothers who has done nothing to be in jail. So only believing on a, a religion that is not uh, confirmed by the government. So. Um, uh, what I wanted to say that is that uh, uh, because Iran uses a, a very uh, special interpretation of uh, Islam, then uh, they have brought this interpretation also in all uh, civil and uh, criminal laws of the country. So that means that, uh, for example, early child marriage in Iran is lawful. So uh, we don't have any kind of minimum uh, age of marriage in Iran until nine years uh, of old for uh, girls, nine years age for girls, um, they need a special uh, allowance from the court uh, and then uh, until from 13 years old uh, no uh, court decision is needed and in all ages regardless how old you are uh, as a woman for your first marriage you will need the uh, allowance your of your um, father or um, a guardian man of the family that could be grandfather anybody so uh, the FGM is not in Iran is not a kind of Shia practice in Iran but it is practiced also in some parts of Iran I can't say that this is regardless to Islam or the Islamic interpretation of the government but they have not been serious um, um, serious uh, in, exercises against it so that they stop this kind of practice in Iran too. So people who believe on this issue uh, exercise it without any kind of um, um, the government or the state wanting wanting to stop this process in Iran. Uh, violence, is, uh, violence against women is another issue which is also practiced um, and is always accused in the name of um, it is always uh, justified, sorry, not accused, justified because of the Islam, because there are some laws that um, allow, for example, if a man uh, sees her wife with uh, another man in the bed, uh, he is lawfully allowed to kill both of them, and uh, nobody can say anything. It is the law of the um, country. So. Um, such kind of things are uh, are the things that whoever does this kind of honor killings uh, goes back that I had the feeling that she had another relation and then the uh, kind of uh, sentence that these people become because of honor killing if it goes to fathers for example uh, we have cases that who has been that uh, has been in jail only for six months after killing uh, his daughter um, he said that uh, I didn't want him uh, her to have relationship with the person that he had uh, she had uh, sh she had a boyfriend and so and then was after six months he was released from jail because he is the guardian of that uh, girl who was 17 years old so um, 
there are different different situations that uh, bring uh, the whole uh, society and the whole uh, Iran's community that they uh, are somehow allowed to practice violence against women in the name of religion. Um, but there are also other um, laws that uh, prevent women to ha have their uh, responsibilities in the community as women should do it and want to do it. Um, for example, there is the law, um, the Article 1117 of Civil Code uh, that uh, says that um, any man can prevent his wife to seek employment in jobs unsuitable for family honor or status. So there is no definition what is unsuitable, what is family honor, uh, honor and so on. So people can uh, interpret all kind of these uh, laws for themselves so that they can uh, put um, pressure on women to stay at home and uh, not becoming jobs. So we have also gender discrimination in education. Uh, which is also interpreted through um, Islam. Uh, it is also if a woman is married, it is the husband who should allow her uh, to go and uh, um, continue her studies, um, unless it is uh, already set at the beginning of marriage that she has the right to continue her studying. But still, if the husband don't want to allow her, uh, she has to go to court to uh, become the possibility to go to have continue her education. Uh, we have also a law on violent uh, chastity. Uh, there is a strategy on that, and um, the, the list is really very long. It can go further and further. For example, I don't know if people who are sitting in this room know that for a kind of simple handshaking in Iran between a man and a woman who are not married or have relationship, there are uh, they. Both of them could be uh, become 75 um, uh, lashes of um, wiping. So this is the law in the country. Um, and then, um, as you might all know, we don't have any law on um, criminalizing violence against women. Uh, so uh, not until now, uh, there are always plans to do that. The draft is working. Uh, it's in process since around 12 years, but uh, still nothing has been offered to the, um, uh, to the parliament. So um, they still don't have such thing. Um, then we have um, the discrimination in sport that uh, I have tried to bring this part very much on the, um, on the notice of this council again. Um, women are not allowed to take part in uh, many sports and in all those that they are allowed to take part as uh, sportlers, they have to wear all kind of Islamic dresses. So that means that swimming is banned, bodybuilding is banned, those, those uh, gymnastic is banned, all those that uh, have uh, other dresses than Islamic dresses, they are banned for women and girls in Iran. And in those that uh, they are, they can somehow wear these Islamic dresses, I don't speak about the hindrance that they have when they do all these sports with Islamic dresses, uh, but then uh, still in those uh, they have also some um, uh, some kind of um, limitations uh, to practice. For example, uh, we had the chess uh, tournament some two weeks ago, and then uh, a woman from Iran who doesn't live in Iran but was in the team of Iran uh, took part without the while, and uh, they have said that she is going to be stopped from any sport anymore. And there was also a boy who, a 15 year old boy who uh, took part as a sport. It, uh, he was not a woman but a child, and then uh, uh, he began uh, the chase with Israel uh, team. And now he's going to be stopped also from um, being ever uh, uh, able to uh, take part as Iran team. 